Hi everybody. I want to show you how to do something in StatCrunch for significance testing. I'm going to use example 2 from the book to illustrate and uh, I'll be out of here in about two minutes. Remember the question that we asked in example 2 was do people in Iowa smoke at the same rate as they do nationwide? Pi, remember, stands for the proportion for all of Iowa, that is for the entire population, and the population we're considering here is Iowa adults. The null hypothesis that pi is 0.178, this is the same thing as saying that the proportion for Iowa adults is the same as it is nationally. And the alternative hypothesis is that that's not true, the proportion in Iowa is different. Remember too that there was a sample of 1,050 adults taken, 172 said they smoke, and that's about 16.4 percent, so the proportion is 0.164. So here we go to StatCrunch. Um, in StatCrunch, I need to just open up a blank sheet, and in the Stat menu, there is something called Proportion Statistics. Now we've already, uh, I'm sorry, first of all, it's a one sample test that we're doing, the sample from Iowa, and we've already got the summarized data, so that's what we're going to click here, the summary. Um, the data was 172 successes, people who smoked, out of a total number of observations, 1,050, that's the sample size. Tell StatCrunch what your null hypothesis is. We copy with a .178 from the null hypothesis. And then in the alternative hypothesis, make sure you choose the correct symbol. By default, it's already got the not equal sign. Once I push compute, I end up with a table like this one. It tells me First of all, I can verify that I've got the right numbers entered. There's my sample proportion. The standard error, which is the standard deviation for the sampling distribution. There's the z-score, and here's the p-value. Now that I've got the p-value, of course, I know what to do. Remember that our focus is on the null hypothesis, and since the p-value is greater than 0.05, we know we're going to fail to reject that null hypothesis. In other words, the difference was not statistically significant, and we're, we can say in plain language that we're not convinced the rate in Iowa is any different. I think what's nice is that in that stat crunch table, it's very easy to um, copy and paste all of this information into um, Word documents so that you've got all the evidence you need to convince someone that you did the correct significance test. Of course, don't forget to edit the table so that you don't have these crazy number of decimal places that it shows here. That's all for now. If you have any questions, let me know.